and as for me and my current romantic life, I uh, am single now and looking. So if you know anybody. Jim and I went to dinner a few times when he got back from New York. I talked him through his breakup. It's really nice to be good friends again. Are you kidding me? Pam and Jim are totally hooking up. And Sunday, I'm thinking of going to that flea market at the drive-in. Oh, that sounds fun. I'm mountain biking on Sunday in uh, Montage Mountain. Cool. Yeah. Well, have fun with that. Oh, well. If they aren't together now, then they probably never will be. I thought they'd be good together. Like PB and J. Pam, Beasley, and Jim. What a waste. What a waste. I told you I'm not dating anyone. And even if I was, I don't think it's anyone's business. I mean, when I do fall in love, like when it's for real, the last person I'm gonna talk about it to is a camera crew or my coworkers. Almost marrying Roy Anderson was as close to Pamela Anderson as I ever wanna be. Trust me, when I fall in love, you'll know. What? Oh, um, no, that's not, I mean, that wasn't, Yeah, um, that was, um... I mean, I can see how it would seem a bit like we, uh, how it looks like, um... But I mean, nowadays you can edit anything, right? I mean, you can edit anything to look like um, anything. So. Yeah, I gave him a ride home because right. we're dating. Wow. There it is. Uh, yeah. So we're still having lunch today, right? I guess. How dare you? Hey, Toby. What's this? Huh. I just want to remind everyone about the company rules involving PDA, or public displays of affection. Yes, uh, some people in the office have complained. Oh, really? About some other people engaging in PDA. And, you know, just want to remind it's not appropriate to, to do that. This is about me and Jan in my office, because I will have you know that that was consensual. What we did has nothing to do with you or anyone here. I don't think, I, I don't think anyone heard anything. We were very discreet. And, and I, most people had left by that point. Mm -hmm. So I don't, I don't think it's any of your business. So what I think you should do is roll up the memo real tight. Okay, hey, look, the memo is not about you. For the record, I have never been involved with anyone at work in any capacity. All right, everyone, look. It, all right, the complaint was about Jim and Pam. So. No way. What? You guys are together? Um. Yep. Yes, we are. Whoa! Wow! Tuna! Awesome! I knew it. Tuna. To the two of you. Yes! Yes! Toby, was this your fun little way of congratulating us? Yes. Did I ever tell you why I left Scranton? <laughs> yeah, I didn't think I had. Well, it was all about Pam. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, she was with Roy, and uh, I just couldn't take it. I mean, I lost it, Dwight. I couldn't sleep. I couldn't concentrate on anything. And then weird stuff like food had no taste. So my solution was to move away. It was awful. And it is something that I wouldn't wish on my worst enemy. And that includes you. Hey, 
I was thinking about dinner. We... Oh, I don't care. I don't really like that place that much anyway. I'll just move. Oh, really? Who's going to take you in? You're messy. You're a klutz. You spill everything. And you leave the volume on the TV way too loud. Yeah. Maybe I'll just move in with my boyfriend, because he's kind of a slob, too. OK, sure. Let's do it. <laughs> no, I, um, well, I'm not going to, I'm, I'm not going to move in with anyone unless I'm engaged. Have I not proposed to you yet? Mm, I don't. Mm. Oh. No? Well, mm -mm. that's coming. Oh, you know what? That one. Hey, Pam. Will you wait for me one second while I tie my shoe? I hate you. What? My shoe is untied. What is your problem? <laughs> Pam and I, we got to know each other right out there. I mean, first time we joked around was at my desk. And the first meal we ever had was in the break room, actually. We were at two separate tables, and I remember that. First time we kissed, even, was right outside. And look, all I'm saying is that you can get to know someone really, really well, like I did, right here at work. I'm going to propose tonight. Is Jim going to propose tonight? He is, isn't he? Please. Angela, will you do me the honor of giving me your tiny hand in marriage? Okay. Into the mic, sweetie. I said okay. She said yes! And the crowd goes wild! Woo! Why haven't I proposed yet? Uh, actually, Pam and I talked about it, and we just decided that, um, well, we didn't want to spend the first three months of our engagement apart. And uh, Pam's always said she doesn't want a long engagement. Something in her past, I guess. I'm not really sure of the whole story, but something about a guy who used to work here. I'm gonna write you both up for not working. I'm gonna write you up for not working. Okay, well played. Neither of us will write the other up for not working. Closer, so you have to buy lunch. What are you doing? I just 